Welcome back. We're back from AFK. There's the song that we uh, listened to. It was beautiful. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got Yoshi's now. Yoshi runs from the cops, but slightly faster this time. <sighs> that was... What was that a remix of? What was that other song that it was mashed with? I, I don't even know. Now I now I feel like a music inferior because I don't know the name of the song. Yeah. Yoshi. Hey, do we have uh do we have game audio this time? Are you are you able to hear it? Oh, that's cool. So last time I streamed this game, uh we didn't have any game audio. So good thing we got it this time. Uh so last time we fought Bert the Nude. And now uh we have Dino Smash, which is another name for Yoshi's down B. And smash. Alright, so now we're in desert land. Okay. Yo, what? What is this? We could just plow through everything. Shy guys mean nothing to me. I can't even I can't even eat. I knew Yoshi was a murderer this whole time. So I saw something that apparently the um, the composer of this game was found retweeting. Oh god, the shy guys can wear them too. Oh no! The composer of this game apparently was has been retweeting people's comments that they dislike this game's soundtrack. Kind of feel bad for him. I don't think this is an awful soundtrack. This isn't. This isn't New Island ter levels of terrible at the very least. All right, there's nothing I can do about this lad. He's just. He's on a rampage. This dude though. Being annoying. There we go. Yeah, there's not much I can do about him. Oh, no, Pucci! God, that dude murders my health. I stand by my original opinion on this game, which is that it's cute. It's fun. This shy guy is kind of a cunt, but other than that, you know. And this level appears to be like balls easy. Okay, hang on. I got a text message from someone. Uh, okay, sorry. Bonk, 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 bonk. Hey, stop bullying me. What is that in the background?
Hang on, maybe if I uh put the put the hat away. What is that? Um Okay, it it appears to be nothing more. This reminds you of the rhino. Oh, um, what's his name? I know who you're talking about. I don't know his name. Rambi, I think? Is that it? Mass destruction! Rhino Kong, yeah, there it is. Yeah, his name is Jeff Keeley, Destroyer of Worlds. You see, he's famous for mass murder in the, um... In the Gerudo Desert. Oh, Bomb can still hurt me through mask. I like the clever ways this game teaches you things, though. It introduces a level mechanic. Oh no, but Yoshi can't swim. Introduces level mechanic, and then slowly builds upon it. Honestly, these are the best kinds of platformers. Oh no! Thankfully, Yoshi's, um... I was gonna say Yoshi's flying abilities make him an invulnerable demigod, but then he he drowns anyways. Oh, but it's okay, because you'll just respawn with Pooch. I got somewhat distracted because there's like a f there's a fire truck sound being outside my window. It was very loud. <laughs> excuses, excuses, yes, I know. But that's my reasoning. Uh, I'd like to, um... I'd like to report this to the, um... The Yoshi police. Hello, yes, Yoshi police! I'd like to report a crime. The offense? Uh, this game is too fucking cute. I missed one. That's okay. Frame rate died for a moment there. <laughs> I don't think that was my capture doing that. It's okay. Dino Smash! I guess you could say that this, uh, this desert is bone to. We got five coins to spare. Hopefully we don't need coins for anything else. This is an expensive machine. 150 coins. That's a dollar fifty per costume. Well, I guess it depends on how you look at it. A dollar fifty for a whole costume, that's that's a pretty good deal. But if you consider Yoshi might just actually be a toy himself. A dollar fifty for a capsule toy. Mm, maybe that's so much. Get me some water. Um, 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 um.
Let's slide. Let's go, pooch. Slide. Why doesn't the poochie crawl, though? Oh, is this boss time? Oh, no! Uh oh. Out of egg. Out of egg. <laughs> so far, I, I've been genuinely impressed with these levels. I mean, I want to call them the best levels. These aren't some Donkey Kong Country levels right here. But. This game just continues to be cute, and that's what's important. So I'd like to uh, amend the cuteness by uh, talking to you about disgusting things. Disgusting slush that gives you gas? Have you ever heard of, um... Of, uh... Squid Ink Spaghetti. Let's talk about Squid Ink Spaghetti for a moment. Oh no, I can't get it. Ah. Poochie is gone. Alright, well. It is in Tomodachi life, yes. This is- this is accurate. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, you're just gonna put me back there? Ah! 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 Do something about it! Yeah! Well, that was a quick level. I feel like I might have done these levels out of order. They may have intended for you to take the top route first. Because some, some of those levels that we did last time were a little bit more challenging than that. We did it! Yoshi! How would you like Dino Desert so much to see? Uh, for, for a local souvenir? Man, that really sucks for you, doesn't it? Well, I hope you can find that. See you later. <laughs> oh, I will say, one thing I'm not a fan of in this game are the, uh, side quest things that these guys have you do. Hey, it really puts a spring in my step. We're gonna sky high heights. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Not really side quests if you need to do them. Well, I suppose, but you can also- do, do you necessarily need to do them, though? I mean, I would disagree with that statement because Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, Torna forces you to do side quests. They're very much side quests as far as content is concerned. Go up, go up, go up. 
Oh, I see how this works. Lean forward, go down. <laughs> no, I wasn't referring to giving this the flowers. I meant uh, doing the like going back into a level to. Uh... Oh, we got chunky. Chunky ass. Going back into a level to like find something for the dudes. The flower folk. Can't catch me! Oh shit. He can catch me. That's how you catch me. Yoshi takes the FBI and rams a plane. Uh. Uh, into a watermelon farm. Give, give, give me that present. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. Oh shit. Yo, she just straight up murdered that dude. Nope. Nope, I'm not okay with this. I am not okay with your antics, Yoshi. Oh, I got them. Oh, God! These- these- these are the truest of airplane controls, though. <laughs> They're like... Oh my god. Open fire! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're boarding the airship. Come on. Fly up. Get him, Yosh. Get him, Yosh. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> These levels are going by, like, really fast all of a sudden. I'm hardly even keeping up with the pace of them. <laughs> oh, we were supposed to pop more balloons to get more flowers, I see. Ah, that makes more sense. Okay, what do we got? We got Poochie's Magma Run. That sounds... painful. But okay. If you say so. Give me the power. Is that... Is this being made out of aluminum foil? Is that what that's supposed to be? Oh my god. I'm surprised they didn't make this... The, the lava be like ketchup or hot sauce. It looks like it's just red paint. Imagine all the people... Ketchup's too spicy! So I started playing, um... Mario Tennis last night, by the way. Um, 
for Switch. Yeah, Mario Tennis Aces. Uh, I've- I owned it si I've ha- I have owned it, excuse me, since Christmas time. Uh, I got it for Christmas from my dad. But I, uh, I never started playing it because, you know, I was, I was playing other games and most of the time when I play games, I play it- whatever I stream is basically what I'm playing, right? There's not very much that I do off stream except for, like, Minecraft, but right now Minecraft is not really appealing to me because the server that I play on is, like, really laggy because we just updated to 114 and the client isn't like fully ready for 114 yet so the server is like really annoying to deal with so as such um i was like i need a game to play so i went through my collection i considered playing some GameCube games. I wasn't really feeling anything. And then I remembered, okay, well, I have I have Mario Tennis that I still haven't tried. So why not? So Yeah, I started playing it. I haven't played for too long. So I don't have too much to share. But from what I have played, I do uh mostly enjoy it. I just figured I'd give you an update that eventually I might be able to have more of a better review. I don't think I'll be streaming it, except maybe like a one-off stream. Um. Uh, yeah. Now that's some spicy ketchup right there. Are we gonna leave Poochie behind? I don't wanna do that, Pooch! All right. Well, I'm sorry, doggo. Oh, he can just swim in the background. Poochie is above the the basic mechanics of life. Man's best friend. See, this is what's fucked up about Yoshi, though. Okay? Yoshi is a respectable individual, okay? Alright? He's- he is old enough to live out on his own. You know, he has his own house. Yoshi's house, that is. He owns a dog, okay? being Poochie, yet he himself gets treated like a dog, discarded whenever he's not needed, and is just relied on to look cute. I say we should rebel against our Nintendo overlords and do what's right for Yoshi. Give him his tax break. Come on, Poochie! Come on! Poochie! Just let me burn. Man's best friend, my ass. More like man's, uh, second best friend because. He, his best friend, actually goes to his pizza parties. I didn't abandon Poochie. Poochie abandoned me, okay? I had no choice but to do this. Po Yoshi just learns from his older superior, Mario, okay? Mario's the one who trained him to be like this. Okay? This isn't my fault. I didn't abandon Yoshi, he abandoned me!
We gotta put a costume on this lad. What's he gonna be today? Mint macaron. Yep, he's a mint macaron. Yellow Yosh? He's a crafty cat. Orange Yosh. Ain't never seen a squirrel log before, but there it is. And, uh... Pink Josh, you know. Amiibo. Okay. Well, now all my- now all my friends are cosplaying. Man, Comic-Con looks great this year. Windward Way. Squidward Way? We gotta get SpongeBob back. We gotta get SpongeBob back. But how? We need some wheels. Larry, we gotta get SpongeBob back. But why? Oh no! Yoshi just ate a bird. Bert. This is where Bert and Bort came from. Bird Bort Valley. Surge, I'm hungry. Um. Well, Yoshi has four out of twenty red coins, so maybe you should eat weed. Did you think of that one? Huh? That's. That's a zany joke for the ages, right there. Put that one in the highlight comp. That won't get made because I'm too lazy to make videos. I'm actually probably gonna do a highlight comp. Unironically. Of, uh... Smash Ultimate. These- these stages that we've been playing on stream have been fucking amazing. I have been loving all of these stages that we've been playing. Oh! You have some stages based on the missing N64 ones? I've seen a couple of those. They're okay, I, I suppose. It'd be better if, you know, the N64 stages were just actually there. I guess I would say I probably do prefer the layout of 64 Brinstar over um over the the melee one which we ended up getting but otherwise you know planet zeb or um you know that's the uh what's the sector x is literally just corneria but just a different background I doubt it'll be free DLC. If I if I had to guess, I'd say they'd probably charge like two, three dollars a stage. That's what they did in the previous game. But I'm gonna guess there's gonna be no extra stages just because they would have to create a whole new row on the stage select screen. And I don't think they're gonna do that. I found that very quickly. And 64 style costumes. Uh I mean, I think it would be cool, but I don't, I I don't I really don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I hate to be that guy that's just like no fun allowed. 
Bad fun. No. Bad. But the reason why I'm like that, especially with Smash, because a lot of people are like, one dude throws out an idea, and then everyone in the Smash community wants it, and then gets pissed when it doesn't happen. Yeah, I, I don't think they'll actually add any costumes to anyone. I think there's just going to be the eight for everyone. I mean, they did make it a point to remove costumes from people. Little Mac used to have 16 costumes. He now only has eight. Uh, Wario in Brawl had 16 costumes. Well, he didn't have 16. I think he had 14, but still. Yeah, I would love more costumes. Don't get me wrong. I... Even if it's... Even if it's not just... Like, I think... I think N64 costumes is asking a lot because that's asking for whole new models. Even... Even if they aren't, like, super detailed. I mean, obviously they're not. They're N64. But... I think asking for model changes, like... I don't usually watch Game Explain anymore just because... I used to watch their prediction shit all the time because it intrigued me, but now it's just like... Hey guys, let's throw out the most random... Most, like... Impossible idea we can possibly come up with. And they said something like... I forget what they said, but... <sighs> I don't know. Or like... I, I remember now. They, they... Someone on one of their discussion videos was like... What if... What if they add... Alternate character... Oh, wow, that puts me way back here, huh? What if they add alternate character DLC? Like how we have Olimar and Alf. I'm like, really? You... Like, I know, I get it. You're just trying to throw out ideas. But... Don't tell me you actually think that's, like, possible. Like... Unless it's already there. There's no way they're gonna add that to other people. That's not only a different model... A different high quality model at that but also you got to do voice acting for most cases and you know you got to make sure the character is like the same portions as the other character otherwise that would be an echo fighter not a costume <laughs> it would just be I think that's even more complicated than just getting an Echo Fighter. <laughs> that's my opinion on Smash DLC. Let's see, where can we go next? <laughs> we can go up. Yeah, why not? Let's go up. Ah! Ah! There are geese outside my window going mental. I don't think there's anything wrong with speculation like that. Where it goes is, is um, wrong is when someone gets anal about said speculation. Oh yeah, I agree with that. Like, I don't necessarily think, like, oh, you think, you think, uh, you think, uh, Minecraft Steve is gonna be in there? Well, fuck you, man. It's gonna be Banjo-Kazooie. Man, I'm gonna, uh, throw a watermelon at you. You're gonna get a watermelon in your face, dude. Get a watermelon! Obviously, that's no cool. That's, that's no beans. But, I mean, yeah, I, I guess I just, personally speaking, 
I don't really like Smash speculation anymore just because that's kind of a lot of the community. Like the the logic arguments is is what really like Oh well this character makes more sense because um it has a bigger fan base. I don't really think that that has anything to do with anything, really. Angry Wiggler. I, 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 honestly and wholeheartedly, Nintendo's just gonna pick whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> they're not, they're not gonna be, Nintendo didn't create a team of analyzers to be like, okay guys, we got five DLC characters, okay? Reggie, no dozing off. Five DLC characters. We gotta pit make sure all five of these characters are characters that not only are relevant, but will draw the most revenue to us, a company. So, we gotta get Joker from Persona 5, the biggest game that about a million people play, okay? And then we gotta get, I don't know, fucking, we gotta get Shaggy from fucking Blue's Clues. <laughs> uh, and then we gotta get Waluigi. He's already an assist trophy, but do you know what kind of an uproar that would cause? No, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna pick uh, Poochie because he's cute. That's Nintendo's logic. Oh, one hit. What is going on? What? Oh, wait. I see what I can do here. Oh, dude. I just murdered that dude. Oh. This is uh, a little risque right here. Yoshi, don't do that to that hole. Give me them corn. Give me them corn. One 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 three. One 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 three. One 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 three. One 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 three. Ah. Off topic, but but about Nintendo. At least Animal Crossing is still slated for 2019 officially. Currently, yeah, uh, there, there were a couple of rumors going around that uh, potentially Animal Crossing might be delayed. I agree that it's nice to see that um, they aren't delaying it, apparently. Um, Luigi's Mansion, I didn't really doubt, was coming this year. Personally, um, but it's also get good to see... Not only is it still coming, but also appears to be um, going along nicely, I guess. I guess you could say that. I mean, it's just a logo update, but still. I mean... Official report overviewing the fiscal year, and they mentioned an E3 direct will be made. I mean, the sky is also blue. Get pissed.
Oh, he doesn't like it when you lick him either. No lick. I think it's probably for the best that Metroid had to restart based off of what I heard. Some studios um, were mentioning how... Oh no! Where are you going? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Platform! Why have you done this? Where's the platform? What? What? <coughs> Some of the studios working on Prime 4 before Retro took over were mentioning that um, you know, development's going great! And we have no problems over here. And then other studios were saying uh, that they were having issues. And that it wasn't going so smooth. So, I'm glad uh, Retro took the helm. But, what's also interesting is with uh, Retro's recent job postings regarding Metroid. As well, yes, it shows Metroid is still probably not that far along. Um, it kind of proves that Retro must have been working on something else between now and then because I mean if Retro accepted it before hiring people for it it means that they already had a team working on something we don't know what that something is we, we don't know where they came from but That's reassuring, at least, because it's been five years since Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I know Retro assisted with the port of... Um... The port of Tropical Freeze to Switch. But they weren't completely responsible for it. It was mostly outsourced, as far as I'm aware. There's been a speculation over a picture on from Reggie's Twitter where he got a piece of art from Retro as a gift. And there was something hidden that might point to what they may have been working on. And what was that? I don't know anything about that. I don't follow a conspiracy culture. I'm gonna guess offhand that it means nothing, but, you know, humor me for a minute, I guess. Again, I, I am usually more on board with saying people usually over-speculate. <laughs> and, like... I think... I think my strongest point to this offender is Sakurai's Twitter. Where he goes to mention, not everything is a hint towards Smash Bros, and y'all need to just chill the fuck out. Building a stand. Um, what am I missing? No, oh, that right there. I didn't even see it there. Random robot arm hidden by other stuff in framed art. Are we sure that it's not just Samus's Varia suit? Or any other Metroid character for that matter? What? Wow!
Samus has already shown. I I mean, where someone get someone link me to this image. Yoshi, what's wrong? Here it is. Okay, let's take a look. Desktop. Okay, so here's this. Last of my retirement. Okay, so we're looking at this. Um, where's this robot arm? That's that's Donkey Kong's hand. Um, there's Diddy Kong's arm. This right here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that that's Samus. Um, hmm. Well, that is curious. I'll give you that. It could be related. It could absolutely be related. Um, I wouldn't discredit that, actually. <laughs> it's Reggie's secret. What? I didn't know I had no life left. Reggie's secret third hand. Cool. What's the point of having all these hit points if everything does like 20,000 damage? I guess I'm not complaining about the difficulty, but more or less... The hit points are kind of misleading. Like if I had to guess right now, 15 out of 20 hearts, I would think, you know, I have 15 hits left. But no, that's really like 3. I mean, I guess that's fair, but... <laughs> Also kind of confusing. Yeah, I won't necessarily discredit that, but... I'd say it's... it probably is whatever they're working on. When am I gonna get Inklings that sing the Yoshi's music? Ready to get one hit blasted again. <laughs> yeah, E3. E3 themselves worked on Tropical Freeze, you're right. Oh god, that ledge does not stop you. Look at those pinecone owls. Those are some dorbs, pinecone owls. <laughs> it took three years for Retro to make the Funky Kong model. I'll be honest, I forgot about Funky Kong being in... Uh, Tropical Freeze on Switch. I mean, that is kind of what spawned all those funky memes, though. Hey, dudes. Well, that existed beforehand. You know what I mean. Hey, bros, it's me, Funky Kong. You ready for a bodacious stream today? We're gonna... We're gonna be bodacious and, like... I don't know. Jump and shit. That's what we do here at Funky Kong Town. Jump. Up and down and all around. ASMR, Funky Kong tries to remind you who he is after you wake up from a coma. Oh no! Huh? 
See, there's Funky Kong now. Doing what he does best. Being a monkey. Oh, you cannot ground pound piranha plant. This isn't like Smash. Or rather, for that for that matter, it is like Smash. Because you can't do that in Smash either. This kind of reminds me of Pikmin, this background. The big cinder block in the forest. I wonder if Pikmin 4 will be at E3 this year. Didn't they say a while ago that Pikmin 4 was like basically done? I'm going to die again. Yeah, that was years ago. Yeah. Maybe they are porting it to Switch? Pikmin 4? No, it's coming out on Wii U, bro. Yeah, they're gonna put Pikmin 4 on Wii U. They're also gonna release it on Wii, just like Just Dance. I I want you guys to know when I when I played Just Dance uh, 20 what year would that have been 2017? When I played that at the Nintendo event in Chicago, when they went to go play the Switch before it came out. They want- they made it clear that that game was available on Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Wii, oh well, this is what I said, Wii, Wii U, um, the Switch, it was available on Xbox Connect, and I think PlayStation Move. Where yet? Where's the big lad? I'm out of egg, so it doesn't really matter. I'm out of egg. I can't really do anything about this. You, you, <laughs> you didn't give me an opportunity to collect those egg. Oh yeah! Murder me! And there I go! This game suddenly got hard? Or I just got distracted? <laughs> I can't really tell. The other thing is I'm not really getting any eggs, which kind of makes it hard to defend myself. Yeah, like I only have two eggs for this whole encounter. Oh. Well, there's some egg. Yeah, Ted is dead. The Reggie art threw me off, probably. Let's just blame Reggie. He didn't give us Mother 3, so it's clearly his fault. What is going on with this one? 
Monkey! No, Mother 3 won't happen. I I am a firm believer that Mother 3 will remain to be Japanese exclusive for the remainder of time. Oh, that was beans. I totally had the three egg. While I haven't played Mother 3, I've seen a few playthroughs by this point that I can... I understand completely <laughs> why it hasn't come out in the West. Especially in fucking 2019? No. There ain't no way that game's coming out. People would flip their shit. It'd be a big political statement to, to release it. Even though it really shouldn't be, it would. a lot of people would consider it as such. It doesn't do anything I would consider be to be morally bad, but there would just be some people that would just get up in arms over a couple of things that are in the game. Yeah, fuck the ground. Oh. Whoa. Okay. It's- it's- that's just inevitable at this point. Persona 5 ain't happening on Switch. People just need to- need to realize that. Give- give- give Royal a time to actually be released. Okay. Because, listen, you don't want Persona 5 unless it's going to be Persona 5 Royal. I know people claim they want it, but they really don't. <laughs> They're literally coming out with a much more superior version of the game that probably will fix a lot of the problems with the game, as well as uh, add new content. Um... Okay, hang on. I need more egg. Yeah, it's it's a cheap PS4 or PS3 game. Or you can get a PS4. I mean, more people do have PS4s, I think, than Switches. So... <laughs> I'm guessing most people probably have a PS4. But if you, if you don't, and you are looking to play the game... Wait for 2020. Wait for Persona 4, for Persona 5 Royal to come out on PS4. And if it comes out, give it a year, and it might, and that might come to Switch. That's probably what you would want to ask for. But I saw, I saw a post where someone messaged Atlas USA on Facebook. It was like. You guys are, like, stupid, and you guys need to just realize this is what the fans want. It's like, really? This, this is how you're going to be right now? You're going to harass the... They, they said a lot of more uh, offensive words than that. Uh, they were literally, quite literally, harassing whoever <laughs> answers the social media page of Atlas. So... Maybe don't be like that guy, you know. Because that's not how you get it. That's not how you get Persona on anything. That's how you get a restraining order. Toxic fans usually give the community a bad reputation. I agree. And it's usually the, the couple of toxic fans that stand out the most. So... It's the same thing with, like, Undertale, by example. Like, a lot of people... It's a genuinely pretty good game on its own. But a lot of people stray far the fuck away from it because... 
the fan base and I will I will generally go to say probably the majority of the fan base is like that not all of them but a good big chunk of them are like that I've seen plenty of it almost any streamer that I've watched keyword almost has been like that now I know that's generalizing not everyone is like that. I agree with that. But, you know. Yeah, same with FNAF. Hmm, there's more than meets the eye with this party ball. Uh, maybe it's got a bunch of gems inside. I'm Bowser Jr. I'm gonna bust... Uh, not it open and see. Don't do that. Mm. You can use me. Throw me. Bowser Jr. You're going the wrong way. Look at that Yosh. Break it. <laughs> oh my god! Uh oh. There were no gems. That's not how gems work. Wow! Yoshi broke open the ball himself! Yoshi, I'll have you know his grossness, was looking forward to breaking that ball. I figured I'd redo the Kamek voice. What do you, tell me what you guys think of it. My piranha plant will gobble you up and show you what's what. Yeah. With the power of nut. Nut stack. It's the nut stack. It's the nut stack. That shy guy had a wife and three children and a fourth on the way. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I can do anything with those. Never seen a plant be so angry. This is what happens when you just let global warming exist and don't do anything about it, kids. Bounce. Yoshi, the bullet hell experience. <sighs> Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Yeah. Oh my god. The mouth just like exploded. Just 
the skull just like ripped from the jaw. I'm like, <laughs> God, that was this game is like slightly disturbing. It's like very dis like gruesome at times. Yoshi murdered a poor innocent shy guy. The jaw of this thing just got ripped off. Bert the bashful lost his pants. Uh, Yoshi, you know, just steals infinity stones. The whole story is just fucked. And then again, Green Yoshi has to take all the credit. So rude. Three infinity stones collected. Yeah, this game is more controversial than Mother 3. Why was this game ported? But not Mother 3. You know, you got the air machines in Mother 3, but this game has like... Literal family carnage. Yoshi is just tearing. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! There you go. Here's your f smiley flowers. Friend of Reno. Thanks! Really puts a spring in my step. Okay, so we got a Japanese Ninjarma Ninja Ninja wait what what did they say? Ninja Rama Ninja Rama Okay, let's zoom out. So we've got this world, one more after that, and then and then it's another boss, and then after that it's probably the final stretch. So I'm gonna call it here for Yoshi today. I know it's a little short, uh, but we've been streaming for three and a half hours in total, so we're gonna call this the end of the stream. So, yeah. Defeated a boss. That's good. We did four, we did three worlds. That was, that was some good progress. And you know, we just got two worlds and then a boss for next stream, so we'll probably do a little bit of the world after that as well. So, yeah, we got some things to do. But yeah, that's gonna be all for today's stream. Um, you can check the stuff below the stream if you're interested. Twitter, Facebook, uh, Discord, it's all there. Um, I, however, cannot deliver beans to your front door because that would be invasion of privacy. However, I can do the power of Amazon Prime. So, free two-day shipping. Hook yourself up. Get some Amazon Prime. Get a year free of, uh, of Nintendo Switch Online. They don't need me to show that for you, but that's what you can do. So do it. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. So, y'all have a good night. And, uh, I should be streaming tomorrow, but if not, count on it on Tuesday.